uh, we'll start out with uh, the people who are already here. As in Dinks, Matt, what you guys are, uh, it's morning now, what would you guys like to do? Okay, so, <coughs> so Adriel wants to find work, yeah. Adriel follows, um, Nav. You guys, Nav would, uh, you guys sleep in the hunter's bane or the inn? Nah, uh, Adriel just meditate somewhere. <laughs> Probably in the hunter's bane. Seems that it's, well, we're part of the Hunter's Bane now, it suggests that we stay there. Yep, yep. she just meditates somewhere. It probably cost us area. less too. It's free. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Which it isn't. It's a free uh, stay. Yeah, we'd, I would say we'd stay at the Hunter's Bane, and uh, Nav would wake up after his four hours rest, and wait for everyone else to get up, like, well, I guess wait for Lexi to get up. Yeah. Uh, as Trisera. as for Bervin and Zash here. Uh, you guys were coming from the south or the north? Oh, my character. You you guys were together, weren't you? Yes, we were together. Yeah. You got the option of this this pathway. This pathway. This pathway. That's it. Uh, I like this one right up here. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you guys come into the town. You guys are probably searching for work. Am I right? Sure. Yep. All right. So you guys uh, walk into town. This is a new place to you. I've not been here before. What would you like to do? Well, uh, if we're gonna look for work, we should probably go look for some, uh, maybe some signs or just ask around. I agree with you, Professor. <laughs> okay, so, so you guys uh, look around? Yeah, we're gonna look around. Uh, guys don't know this place so you guys probably get lost you guys <laughs> ask anyone yeah we just I guess we should make a that investigate to see if I can get a sure. idea of who's hiring you may make an investigation yes I'm proficient with that there we go <laughs> Also, uh, Ooh. Ma make sure to put roll two in. Huh? Uh, uh here. You should, uh. Just do, you should just do that for him, so. Yeah. Oh. Josh, yeah. Character sheet. Over here. Roll two. Break ties. Character name on all templates. Done. Oh wait. God damn it. Yes is what I want. There you go. There you go. Now to roll two. Uh as you got you look around you find that the hunter's bane seems to be the more location where people get bounties and jobs and whatnot. Alright, alright, alright. I look at Professor and I just say, well, there's a group called the Hunter's Bane that sounds like they're hiring. I'll see. Alright. This doesn't sound like my kind of thing, but the only place in town. I mean, I'm a, I'm a doctor and you're a professor, so. Yeah, well, it'll work. <laughs> so you guys head there? We'll head there, yep. Alright. So you head there, you notice people going in and out, usually some with, uh, you can tell the, the mark on part of okay. them. Um, as, as you enter, you go in and you see like a, 
a ton of bounty boards for different things. Uh, what would you like to do? I said we look at some. <laughs> okay. Uh, are we just allowed to look at them, Professor? I don't know. Hmm. Well, do you have to be in the Hunter's Bane in order to do Hunter's Bane stuff? I don't know. You've never been here. You wouldn't know. Oh, we'll, ask, we'll ask, is there anybody like of a... Like, that looks like they've been here a really long time? You notice uh, an anthro loop in the back with platinum armor on. Okay. Uh, should we go ask him? If you want to know what an anthro loop would look like, that is what it looks like. Yep. All right. I think this might be more your thing to talk to people. Okay. Uh, I'll walk up to him. Uh, he, does he look busy or anything like that? Uh, at the moment, he does not. Okay, I'll open and ask him. Uh, we're uh, hi. We are uh, new uh, new to this town, and uh, we're looking for work. And this place seems to be a great place to start. Or we're not sure what's uh, if we need to be part of the Hunter's Bane to do Hunter Bane bounties. Hmm. Well, welcome, first of all. And secondly, uh, you do need to join first. Okay. As for getting in, you would need to do a, a bounty of my choosing. Okay. As for... Is it just the two of you? Uh, yeah. So far, yes. Hmm. Let, let's see if I can find some people to go along with you. And then he looks over to what seems to be a Platinum Dragonborn. Whoa. Who Whoa. isn't not speaking at the moment as he sa uh, says to go go get Adriel and her team and he nods and goes into uh, the living quarters uh, he knocks on Adriel's door <coughs> Adriel as it's like, sort of opens the door with her gloves that are not freezing everything yay. <laughs> and um is it like yes? Rorik is in is need of you, as you hear inside of your head. Oh, because he speaks telepathically, doesn't he? Yep. Okay. Because she says, "Okay, very well." And she walks out. Uh, don't forget to bring your team. Yep, she nods. And then she walks to pick up Mav. Right. Mav would be already awake and answers the door immediately as soon yep. as there's a knock on there. Yep. Mav just says, yeah. this, we're needed by Rorik for something. Okay. Lead the way. <coughs> now go to Crosshair's room as well. It's locked and she doesn't answer. Oh. Adriel knocks through a few more, few more moments and realizes uh, she are not going to answer. Uh, then, uh, the dragonborn looks at you and inside your head and uh, if she wakes up I'll bring her to you wherever you will, shall be. Yep. She nods and then walks. And Asami comes up behind you. <laughs> ah, that's right, I forgot about her. <laughs> say to Asami, good morning. And then, yeah. Morning. <laughs> and then yeah. And you go out, That's it, so wherever it is. Uh, the yep. Dragonborn follows you, and you go out okay. to see Rorik and these two. Would you like to describe awesome. your characters? No. 
that. Um, you'd see a. Um, she looks like a wood elf, but her skin's like coppery, but pale coppery. And she has like white blondish sort of hair, piercing blue eyes, and there's like a. There seems to be a layer of frost all over her body, and the air around her seems to be cool, a lot. And she's wearing, um, very revealing, uh, uh, weather clothing. And she has a fox and an owl following her. Well, that's a pretty interesting person to see. Yep. Dinks. She has she has that one. And she has, and she has that one. And she, and she, and uh, you'd see a uh, a neko with uh, light blue eyes, slightly tanned, like well, not slightly tanned, but heavily tanned skin with like <laughs> black and white fur and hair. Wearing simple leather, well, studded leather, as well as uh, he would have a couple daggers at his side, and also a revolver. And he looks to be pretty neutral in his expression. Alright. And then, and he's, well, he's fairly short as well. He's only yeah. like five foot, five foot four. Alright. Oh, sorry, yeah, um, Adriel looks like 5'6", roughly. Yeah. So you'd see this, this like, this Neko next to, the hut, like, the, the Wood Elf. That's just a bit smaller. Winter Elf. The Winter Elf. As for... It looks like a Wood Elf. But it's basically a Wood Elf, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, as for a Sami, okay. you, you pretty much see that. Alright. Uh. Uh, she has a long bow and two swords at her side as she's, she just follows up behind Adriel and Mev. Um, Bervin and Jachier, would you like to describe your characters as well? Uh, uh, would you like to go first this year? Uh, you can go first. Alright. Uh, well, there's a six foot, about six foot tall human, uh, pretty stocky but still thin at the same time. Uh, he's tanned, uh, really, really tanned. Uh, has dark blue eyes and just uh, long black hair, brown hair. Sorry. Uh, and uh, he seems to be carrying tomes and books on him, but at the same time he's wearing chain mail and uh, has long sword uh, on his side and a shield as well. So, uh, uh, then there's the fair. He looks, looks high elven. But if you kind of look at him closer, you realize that he's not full elf. He's half. He's a half elf. He has golden hair, black eyes. He's a little bit taller for an elf. For a half elf, he's about five nine. But the major thing you notice about him is on his clothes, you see vials on him as well. So not just normal adventure gear. He also has vials of liquid, but you don't know what they are. And Crossbow on his back. Hmm. Hey, it just huh? quietly looks. Hey. And and he looks at the uh, Adriel, Mav, and Asami. is like, "Good morning. Uh, I have a job for you. I'd like you to get these two initiated." Uh, by the way, is it just me or is, is Soul cutting out for everyone? Soul's cutting out. Yeah, Soul yeah. Re uh, reconnects to the Discord. I will. Yeah. Alright. Is that better? Yeah. Better. Hopefully. Alright. Uh, so, Rorik looks at you three and says, well, Good morning. I'd like for you three to initiate these two, or help them get initiated. And he gestures the dragonborn over. The dragonborn comes over and hands two pieces of paper 
You're cutting out again. Again? Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, restart, restart your whole Discord. The whole thing. The whole, the whole Discord. The Fine. Whole thing. Oh, wait. Why is all this shit open? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna restart Discord after I exit out of all these other shit that I shouldn't have open. I think it's because you have all this shit, other other shit open as well as streaming as well as your game. Probably that's probably what's doing it. Thing is, these these things. Uh, I don't remember uh, restarting my computer. These things shouldn't be up. Hello? Hello. Is that better? Hey. Maybe. We'll yeah. see. Hopefully we'll see. we'll see. We shall find out. So Why not? Rorik looks at you three. Uh -huh. Asks you to initiate these two after saying good morning. Or help them get initiated. The drag he gestures the dragonborn over. The dragonborn gives him a couple pieces of paper then puts them onto the table so where everyone can see mm -hmm. and you are able to see two bounties that you can choose from yep. I would look at them yep. Hey, real stands there looking at them and if everyone's near if, and if everyone's near Adriel you'd feel the air like chill around her like it's icy cold Okay. You should see both the Grick and the T-Rex bounty. Oh, <coughs> there's dinosaurs in this world. Yep. And you're we able to do. choose from one of them. Oh. As, as their initiation process. You can do um, the other would one I, later. Would I know that Gricks are aberrations? Gricks are not. They are aberrations? They were. They're not. They're not aberrations. Oh, interesting. Okay. Because that was going to be my whole like decision process. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, ba ba based on what the thing says, you'd think it's a monstrosity. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I asked Rorik which one's giving the town the most trouble. Mm, Rorik looks uh, at you and it's like, well, both of them, of course. Yeah. Though, it's up to you of which one you decide to do first. <coughs> you can take both of them, but as the initiation, I'd like you to take one. Come back at the other one if you so wish. Which one's closer? Um, That's a pretty good choice. Well, the T Rex is on the eastern path, and the Grick is on the northern path. So, uh, you you would think it's closer to. Uh, the town a bit, as the bounty is in this town, but you don't know for certain. Uh, you're breaking up again? Am I? Yep. 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 Fuck. Let's try this again. Open up Discord, please. Do-do-do-do-do. Discord. Don't fail me now. Doug. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Have you heard? All right. So they're they're both they're both one. The Greeks are on the northern path. The T Rex is on the eastern path. In in this case, uh, you the Grix would be that direction, mm -hmm. and the T Rex would be going in this direction. Yep, yep. 
but it, um, it, it cur curves off down there and splits that way and that way. Yeah. Like, how many days travel would it be to each one, basically? Yeah, that's... yeah. Hmm. yeah. The to the shortest... general area which these guys yeah. have been causing yeah. havoc. So Andrew has more pressing matters to deal with, like portals in the sky. Oh. <laughs> Would um, I know if Brick do you have anything good from making potions? Sorry? Would I know if Brick do you have anything that would help in potion making? Um, are you using my potion soul? Probably. Ah, uh, then no. No. Then no. <laughs> <laughs> I know my potions. Thank you for knowing your potions better than I know. It's not just that. It's not just that. You you have no books. Yeah, you have yeah. no books. You you have your makeshift potions that you make yourself. That's pretty much it. No, I mean, but do Rick? Do I know if Rick would give anything that would I could use for potions? To your knowledge, right now, you don't know. As for uh, the distance, he says that the T Rex is a little farther along the path than the Grix, based on distance, but not that far. Hmm. So basically, they're about the same distance. Is what yeah. you're trying to say? About the same. Yep. yep. Adriel will not know how to decide and just look at the two newcomers and say, "You can decide." Crap. Uh, I would suggest, and then she'll, and, and uh, then she'll go would, sit down and start petting the fox. I would say to uh, all of them before Ariel leaves. I would say, would you do you want to face multiple enemies or one singular enemy? Mm. Because the T Rex bounty says the T Rex, the Greek bounty says a few Greeks. Yeah. Yeah, but T Rexes are big. <laughs> I've never seen a T-Rex before, so I have no clue how big or small it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's, it's, it. <laughs> uh, it's just the fact that one says one enemy for less reward, the other says multiple enemies for more reward. Basically, it's either like we, you, you, choose, you choose one enemy for less reward, or you choose multiple enemies for a little bit more reward. Doctor? Uh, let's, go, let's go with the T Rex then. Alright. Alright, so he hands the T Rex bounty to you and puts the Grick under the table. Alright, go ahead and follow the eastern path till you find it. Figuring out, right. how, to, figuring out how to kill it is on you. Right. <laughs> um, can kill well, if uh, can I go do some research before we leave? Can I ask where the library is or something like that, and go see if there's anything on T Rexes with my researcher thing? He tells you that the Hunter's Bane has a library, and that you can go ahead and search if you so wish. Okay. You guys uh, want me to do that? To see if we get some knowledge on how to beat this thing? Adriel will agree. It's eager to know what we're going to fight. I have knowledge as well. If these creatures breathe fire, then I'll not want to go near them. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Zashar would just like to go buy stuff to make his potion. I'll pick up the bounty and put it in my bag. All right, I'll go look for uh, anything that the library has on. Uh... On the T Rex. On the T Rex. Sorry. Uh, you want to make an investigation? Investigation check. Okay, I got. Plus so three. Why not? Yeah, sure. You, you can find uh, a book on dinosaurs. Okay. The, it's a pretty strong creature. Uh, it's of 
huge sized. Uh, it it's pretty fast. It has stubby arms, a pretty good tail that it can hit you with, and uh, a pretty big bite. No fire breath. Doesn't look like it. All right. I'll go back and I'll uh, explain everything to them what I read. As you get back, I'm going to ask both your names. Uh, we haven't asked both your names yet. I'll say, uh, my name is Professor Bourbon. You can call me Professor or Professor Bourbon. <laughs> and I'm Dr. Glasser, the son. Everything's fine. What's your name? My name is Adriel. Malbrick, but most call me Mav. Adriel says, I'm Adriel, and she points at her owl and says, this is Snowflake. And she points at her fox and says, this, this is Taya. We also have another party me member that is currently oh. not here. Decided to sleep in today by the sound of it, and uh, her name's Crossera. You'll see her sooner or later, probably. And, and Asami also, well. I gesture to Asami. Hi, I'm Asami. Wait. Hello. She's uh, really fascinated in the elements, elementals. Considering there's like there's now portals in the sky of them, that, that sort of a thing. I'm sure everybody will be fascinated. <laughs> She's excessively fascinated. Oh, okay. Fanatical. Like me. Uh, yes. I just thought it'd be good to get everyone's names out of the road before we go in fighting whatever oh. we're just about to fight. Yep. Before we go out of fight, do you mind if I go buy some ingredients? Hey, Drew Nuts. Go right ahead. One question. How much gold did you pay for each regen point I spend? Regen point, 20 gold per. 20 gold per, okay. So I buy... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I'll buy... four regen points worth of ingredients. Okay. Make sure to minus the gold. Yep, and now I'm at zero gold. <laughs> and now, but now I have four potions of curing, guys. Ooh. Sweet. <laughs> and um, as we're about to leave the town, Adriel will just say to the guard to the new people, "I suggest um, you don't touch me." Uh, okay. At all. <laughs> Okay. She, like... sort of, she, she sort of gestures to her shoulder and wherever there's like, there's like a, a layer of ice that's constantly there, like all over okay. her skin. That's like I don't I don't want you to free I don't want you to freeze to death. I pull out a notebook and I start writing down. Yep. Don't touch. <laughs> I'll look almost fascinated at it and then uh, just look away after a while. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you guys uh, get just Josh Hare gets his potion reagents, and you guys head out east. Yep. I uh, before as we're walking out before walking out of the city, I'm going to be making a perception check to see if there's anyone following me. Okay, go ahead. And I'll do that too, actually. Looking for if anyone's staring or whatnot. All right. Uh, you guys don't seem to. See anyone? I uh, go up to Adriel and I'm just like, keep an eye out for that fucking flashy, flashy guy that we saw. She nods. She nods. Still worried about him. Um, yeah. And then I continue. <coughs> Oh yeah, before we start going off, I'll share with uh, two potions and say, one for you, Professor, and one for anyone else that goes in melee. Okay, I'll, grab, I'll take one and put it in my bag. Asami points at plus Mav. Four healing. You are a frontline fighter. Uh, uh, what? Here's a free potion. 
What is the potion? The Details. potion of curing. 4d4 healing plus 4. 4d4 plus 4? It only cost me 20 gold. Two D four. Yeah, two D four plus four. Yes, yeah, that's that's more like it. I thought you said 44, and I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, no. That's Is later it, so, down so the line. So it's two D four plus two, or two D four plus four? Two D four plus four. Okay. I don't get 4d4 until 13th level. I was gonna say, yeah, that's pretty, pretty insane if you have 4d4. Yeah. Ha. Ah. Roll it. Nice. So you guys uh, head east. <coughs> yep. Alright. Um, let's see. I'm gonna passively keep an ear out to hear if anyone's following me. Yep. Okay. So you guys go along. Uh, about a day goes by and nothing happens of any yeah. interest. So it's sort of like night time now? Yes. So we need a rest, I guess. Yep. Oh. I'll take the first two watches, yep. like usual. As you look at the new people, would you guys like to watch, or should I? Um, I can, but I'd prefer to read for the night. She nods very well. I'll so, take some of your like, what I mean is, I I can keep watch, but I'll be probably reading during it. Basically, so. uh, you said you're a human, right? Yeah. And then, uh, Zashir is a half-elf? Yeah. So you, you both need eight hours, eight hours rest. So you, you need at least six hours sleep. At least. Yeah. yeah so you you'd be able to take one watch each. Yes. Yeah. If you want to watch. Like, Mav, Mav and Adriel only need four hours. Yeah. So we could do all the watches, but, like, that's yeah. not really fair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could, you could, like, you could join us for a couple watches if you want. Sort of thing. That's what we're trying to say as well. Sure, I can keep watch. I'll mostly join one of you guys. Whoever the professor doesn't join. Hmm. Yeah. Adrian so will you take four select watch. one of the four watches to join us with, if you want. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll take the last watch. Okay. You take it with Adriel. I'll take the first watch. Okay, so... Mav and Professor Bourbon for the first one, Mav for the second one. Adriel for the third one, Adriel and Zashir for the last one. Yep. So? <coughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Zashir. At the beginning of the watches, Adriel yeah. sits down and starts meditating, and the ground around her starts to freeze, and Snowflake hops around her defensively while the fox sleeps under a blanket. During my watches, again, I'm going to be, and during the day while we're um, walking, I'm going to be trying to get more, more used to wielding the gun. Okay. How long have you used that gun? Huh? How, How long, long have, have I used, used it? it? Well, I've used it, well... If you exclude, including the dream or excluding the dream? Excluding. A day. Okay. Is there like, actually a fire? Pretty much today. Well, if there's done. no fire, then you can just, like, there's no fire. Okay. It's just a campsite I made. Sure. Yeah, basically, yeah. uh, if you're excluding the, 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 um, Dream. I've only started using it today, pretty much. Today and yesterday. Okay. 
but most of his free time, whenever we're traveling or whenever we're I'm on watch, I'm going to be trying to get used to it. Can I in any way help him with that or no? I doubt you have any experiences with guns. I won't. I guess. <laughs> so it would be two people that have no experience just being like, uh... uh, <laughs> uh how, how do I do this? Well, a bit more sharp-minded. No, basically, basically what <laughs> Mav's trying to do is just, like, get the weight of the gun down. And, like, okay, yeah. Get, like, like sort of like quick drawing it in battle sort of thing like getting ready like he's basically out of character he's trying to get proficient with the weapon yep but he doesn't want to get like he doesn't want to uh give away our position or anything by shooting a revolver into the air yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would do that yes so the watches go by uneventful apparently and maverick and Zashir and Bourbon need to drag their tokens on. I have no idea how. Uh, <laughs> that open up journal, you'll see your character. Uh, click on your name Whoops. and drag it onto. Like, click and drag your name onto the page. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like so. Done. Oh, okay. I thought that's how. Without default tokens. I'm. I am doing that right now. HP. I'll be in this tree over here. That's full. Um, that is a tree. That doesn't look like a tree. I'll be in this tree over here then. And going to character sheet. While I'm doing this, nothing happens during the rest. So, you guys may do whatever. Okay. Um, Adriel wants to. Has a good question. Is it next morning or not? It is. It is. Okay. Um, during the night, Adriel wants to use her speak with animals mm. and teach her fox how to uh, feed. Like okay. the command word for feed. Okay. For animal handling. Animal handling with advantage. Okay. Yay. Ah, uh, he knows how to feed now. You can add that in. Ah? Uh, you can add that in now. I can add it. Yeah. Yay. I've taught my fox how to feed. Excellent. What's his name? You should, you should totally give him like a mini backpack, Matt, and get him like teach him how to forage. <laughs> I'll teach me how to get good. Remember that. Yeah, that seems better. <laughs> get good. <laughs> get good. <laughs> <coughs> um, in the morning, Adria wakes up from her meditation. Oh no, she she finishes the watch and sees everyone looks like awake. She was on the last watch. Okay. So she walks over, and she casts a spell, and everyone dies. Oh jeez. What did she cast? Cast good berry. Hey. Saw me. She hands out berries to everybody. It saw me gladly takes her berry and eats it. Yep. She uh, hands berries she, to you too as well. She she crunches on it as it's ice, pretty much. Yeah. I'll be right back, you guys. Flavorful okay. berry. No problem. <coughs> yeah, she gives you the berries, um, everyone, and um they are basically like eating a block of ice. Um with it's flavor. incredibly. You see how uh, I enjoy it a lot yep. for some reason. Just awesome. amazing. <laughs> how big do you when think the berry is, Matt? Uh, not that big. Like it, yeah. it only well, gives like Mav one. Mav just HP. puts it in his. <coughs> yeah, Mav just chucks it in his mouth and starts sucking on it. Like, yeah. And they, that, that feeds everybody for the whole day. Wow. Ah, Sweet. Yeah, exciting. Everyone is no longer hungry for the rest of the day. As he f jumps down the Make sure to take off a uh, first level spell. I have. Okay. So. It's not updating my token. 
That's right. Yep. Uh, what, what would you guys say. like to do now that you're awake? I say we continue. I say we continue on. Yep. I say we do that too. There's no time for to sit idly by. Is um, that right, Adriel? That's right. What's the weather like today? The weather is still uh, not at the temperature Adriel would like. Still at the temperature, or not? Still not at the temperature Adriel would like. Whoops. Still not. Okay. Um, Adriel's going to use Druidcraft. Okay. To predict what the weather's going to be like for the next 24 hours. Sunny. Sunny. She frowns. <laughs> <laughs> With the chance of rain. <laughs> oh, she doesn't mind that. <coughs> Everyone would notice that Adriel's like um, uncomfortable, like sort of like if a human was walking through a hot desert. Mm, yeah. Like she's like that. Not happy. Yeah. Yep. Well, you can you can chew yourself with druid grass, correct? Oh, she can chew herself with frostbite. Yeah. You can chew you can chew yourself with uh, with yeah. druid too, though. Yeah. Yeah, but frostbite's more effective. Yep. Yeah, I guess. Except <coughs> you'd be having a chance yeah. to disadvantage yourself. Ah, uh, not really, because she's immune to the cold. Immune to the damage. To the cold. To the damage, not the disadvantage. You're immune to the damage, not the disadvantage. Frostbite, more of a... frostbite wouldn't hurt you, but you that... could still take the disadvantage. Well, the thing uh, is, the disadvantages only last like six seconds, so... Yeah, yeah, okay, true. <laughs> so she, she sort of does that constantly on herself during the day, to keep herself cool. Yep. And so you guys head off east again, right? Alright. Mm, yep. You guys can... <laughs> you guys continue on east, uh, and we're going to do another one of these. Back. Wait a minute. Where's my real dice? Ah, I forgot I moved my dice when I went out. Rip dice. That's okay. I know where they are. Rip. Rip dice. There's that one. That one. That one. There's one of the two that I need. There's the other of the two that I need. <coughs> so, I'm gonna roll these. And as you guys are walking. And we're walking, people. Put you guys down there. You guys are still heading east. This is just a map that I made. Okay. Put you guys in the order that you will be in while you're walking. Orders. I think this is looking pretty damn good. Mm hmm. But, yeah. There's my safe lake. Oh, Down safe here. Lake. Cool. <laughs> I, uh, I'd like uh, people to make a perception first. Yep. As we get into this area, this looks like a sort of dangerous terrain, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, just just uh, with the rocky areas. You you yep. can go around. Yeah. Not bad. Perception, right? Yep, perception. Uh, I'm gonna do my animals as well. Yep. I'm gonna roll the sunnies. Taya and Snowflake. Oh, Snowflake gets gets advantage, but it's not really flying high, so you don't see too much. <coughs> <sighs> oh, and Taya gets advantage too. So yeah, just about to get advantage. Jeez. 
Uh, so Taria and Snowflake have advantage. Yep. Oi, oi. Hey. I am You're so. Late. Okay, I. You don't have to tell me I'm late every time I'm late. I know I'm late. <laughs> wait, 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 Lex, Lex, guess what? Something exciting happened. What happened? You were late. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass all the way from fucking the United States. Um, I am not gonna come up with excuses. I'm just gonna say that I'm late and I'm here now and I'm good. Okay. All right. So you, can you you wake up. You walk out. Realize everyone's gone. Go to the <laughs> front front of the uh, where Rourke usually is. Mm -hmm. It's like ah. So you're finally awake, and the dragonborn, uh, platinum dragonborn next to him, casts a spell on you, and poof, you are here. Oh. Poof, I am here. <laughs> yeah, he he said that uh, it once he, she wakes up, he would just cast a spell on her. Oh, okay, fair enough. Thank you. So go ahead and put your token on the map. Trying. It's being laggy. No problem. And then, there we go. I, I won't have you roll a perception because you just like popped up there. Poof. Poof. <coughs> Whoa. And hey. As for Snowflake, Bourbon, Adriel, Maverick, and Jashir, you guys see a portal open up uh, above you guys. Oh, about time you woke up, sleepyhead. I, uh, it was Adrian bad. Walks, Adrian walks up to you, oh. Adrian walks up to you and puts a hand on your shoulder mm. and says, hi there. And she's like smiling as she puts her hand on your shoulder and <laughs> stops freezing you. And initiatives <laughs> oh, must be rolled. Shit. Oh god. Adriel panics and dies immediately from a fire elemental being nearby. <laughs> Edison dies immediately. Oh, uh, we have new people. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, I don't know if your character knows this when she teleports in. Yeah, I'm just like, who, who are, who are, um... I who are think we have pressing oh, matches shoot. right now. Don't worry about that for now. Just kill these things. Kill them. Uh, kill him. Well, you can kill anything. them. I will, I will make sure that you don't die trying to kill them. He sort of looks at you. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if these cro my crossbow bolts will do any damage to these guys, but I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I rolled a 2, by the way. On a D100. Oh, you remember the Sami. Well done. Yeah, I got that earlier. Before the elementals. Oh, by the way, quick question: Is there any way to hide the, uh, the like the the wor your worst enemy, Matt uh, Dings, Bexy? Can I just, like able to get rid of those pop-ups? That you can make them smaller. You can't hide them. Okay, so I can make them can, smaller. You can make them. You can make them to names only. You go to the yep. cogwheel to the top right, and then yep. all the way down the bottom, you'll see video slash player avatar size. You click the drop-down menu, and then you can see large names only. There we go. Only. Oh, cool. thank you very much. That I love you. Helps. I'll give you a kiss later. Yeah, I have mine on names only all the time because the pictures take up a lot of the space. Of the space. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. God damn it. Oh, I really want to play my bard at some point. <laughs> <laughs> and sending Maverick. Hello. You notice as the Portal open a portal opens up a above you and a fire elemental and an earth elemental drop down from the sky in front of you. How high is this and how high is this? Uh they're they're more like on the ground. Uh it's more but like I'm trying to determine whether I can hide behind it as a bonus action or not. You could. Um well. they they are uh like a bit high. It, if you were to, if a huge creature would be behind there, a head, the head would be above it. But if a large creature was behind it, it could hide behind it without anyone noticing. 
Can I hide behind it? Yes, you can. Would you like to make the roll? One sec, I just need... I don't know if I've done it yet or not. I have. Cool. So... What the hell? Ugh. What? I set it up that this should be... That. Oh, the boots. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> I, I, I know it's a 26. Yeah. Uh, you. And then after I do that, I'm going to. Not knowing if I'm sneaky enough or not, <laughs> I'm going to pull out my gun and shoot at. I guess the closest one, this one here. All right. He's quite easy to see. He's... You shoot <laughs> at him, and you will hit. Does that do sneak attack as well? Depends if he sees me or not. After that, I would highly doubt it. Yep. So, if he doesn't see me, it does, and it has advantage if it does, if he doesn't see me. Yep, I've already added it in. <coughs> yep. And that's my turn. Alright. Grysera, you just got teleported to here, and you see these elementals drop in front of you. <laughs> Um. Um. Well, I I know we're trying to kill them, so or at least get rid of them from killing other people. So I suppose I would probably attack one. Okay. I would probably move in front of Adriel because she hates fire. She, yeah. Well. Crap. Let me undo that then. Move up here in between you and the fire one. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast a guiding bolt at the fire one. Alright. That will hit. And he now has someone has advantage on the next hit. On the next attack. There. Mm. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Let's let's drop a spiritual weapon. No, let's not. Uh, hold on. Mm, no, I think that's it for now. All right, Adriel. You see these two. What do you do? <coughs> Okay, so she's going to take a sit back, get away from the heat of the fire elemental, use a bonus action to say, Talia, Snowflake, hide. <laughs> and they both now know how to hide, so they're going to go and hide. <laughs> okay. Um, and then she's going to look at the earth elemental. Mm. And cast slow. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, she yeah. knows that at level 5 already? It's a third it's level spell, yeah. Third level spell, and you get that as the um, Circle of the Arctic. Oh, damn. Circle of the Arctic, level 5 spells, I'm guessing. So yep. needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Now that's a high wisdom saving throw. <laughs> yep. It's not very high. It's about average. It's a... Well, it's high. It's higher than what we've been needing. Yep. And it saves. Oh, god damn it. This is... <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> And that's a 10. This thing is wise. That's dumb. <laughs> it's not that it's wise, it's sometimes that the rolls go the, their way. Yeah, like, <laughs> last night, last night one zombie passed this undead fortitude should save 10 times. Yeah. Like, it just, it just happens. So that's yeah, Adriel's yeah, turn? Sometimes. Yeah, it's Adriel's turn. Alright, this Earth yeah, Elemental yep. will go up to here. Hello. <laughs> and we'll make oh. two two. T oh wait, he doesn't have to go that far. Never mind. He goes there, and attacks Belvin. Belvin, Bourbon. That's an R. Bourbon, Bourbon. My bad. And he'll try to slam you twice. Okay. 
Oh, God damn it, they don't have attacks on them. Uh, this Earth Elemental's name is Shaq, so he's gonna dunk on you. I'm just gonna <laughs> Sure it's not Darius? No. <sighs> he's not the real MVP. <laughs> uh, that'd be a snowflake. Uh, a 14 and a 25. Okay, so is that against my armor class? Yes. One miss, one hit. Okay. Uh, for the damage of that. Yeah, by, the, by, by the way, the 25 missed because he has an armor class of like 86. <laughs> and, uh, you guys, I found my real, my real dice. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, you take 11 points of damage. As his fl fist slams into you. Okay. His fist. Fist. I said fist. His what fist. are you talking about? That's four, 14 dim? That's 11. 11 dim. Good. Yep. That is the elemental's turn. Just here. On your token. Uh, yep. Ah, uh, these guys are big. These guys are big. I shoot the stone elementals with a crossbow. Alright, go ahead and roll. That will hit. And as a bonus action, I'll move up one and and give the professor an extra potion. And get out of there again. <laughs> okay. Ver Vervin has another potion. Okay, uh, so I've got two of those curing ones? Yep. Alright. So, oh, is that... Oh, shit! Is that your turn? <laughs> that's your turn, right? <coughs> yep, that's the turn. Alright. Vervin. You just got hit by an earth elemental and you just got handed another potion. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go up, and I think I'm gonna get rid of this uh, Earth Elemental here. Like, uh, focus on him. All right. So I'm gonna make my longsword attack. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, those will both miss. Oof. That's horrible. Well, uh, 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 okay. That makes more sense. All right. Uh, so in frustration, I guess I'll use my action surge. <coughs> All right. Uh, so. And then I'll swing twice again. That was a fourth miss. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the Earth ones have really high armor class. Yep. Professor Bourbon. I don't know that. <laughs> yep. Until he's finally realized that he's missed this thing four times. <laughs> yep. As his blade just scrapes across, across his stony body doing nothing. <laughs> uh, okay. Can I drink the bo uh, potion as a bonus action? You can. Okay. Uh. Does do either of the new guys know how ridiculous Chrysera is at healing? No. Oh, <laughs> that might be helpful. <laughs> that might be helpful. Hey, that's eleven. That's just as much as I needed. <laughs> yup. Is that your turn? Uh, yep, yeah, I guess it is. Alright, mm. so Sami. Sami will look at both of them, realize that there's a fire elemental, and know that <coughs> Adriel hates fire, and wants to get rid of it first, so she hunters mark it. And that is not, that is not a two hit thing. God fucking... I was going to say, she crits on everything. <laughs> Even yeah. on this mark. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. That's not supposed to be an attack roll, is it? Try, yeah, it's not supposed to be. Like two crit fails. 
and and then she will shoot <laughs> once. Missing. Oh wait. Oh no no no! That 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 will actually hit. And because I already used Hunter's Mark, I will add that damage in. So that is a decent amount of damage. Twenty nine damage. Twenty nine damage. Twenty nine. Yeah. Oh, do three more damage. Okay. Are you making it so the bow, if you're actually using a magical bow, you're actually shooting magical arrows? It is magical arrows. Okay. Th that that's just what it does. Um, then she will shoot again, hitting again. Oh, I named my mace, by the way. I I noticed. <laughs> Very nice. Did you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been in here a lot doing stuff for my other character, and I just kind of updated some of Chrysera's stuff while I was at it. <laughs> nice. I need to get him in a game. He's going to be so fun. Oh my god. You don't understand. Another 20. <laughs> oh, I have such a headache. As, as she fires her arrows into this elemental it does the full damage as it looks pretty damn hurt now oh. <clears throat> it's the fire elemental's turn and he is looking like he's in pain <laughs> he is very much in pain as much as the fire elemental can look like it's in pain <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see I'm so happy I found my dice, you guys. I've been looking for them all summer. It'll come forward to attack Chrysera. And it makes two attacks against you. Lovely. One for most likely a miss, because that was only a 10 to hit. It's a 20 is my armor class. I know. <laughs> and that will hit, because that was a 25. Ow. And the damage, you take take 15 points of damage. Ouch. Man, these things are starting to hurt now. 15 points of fire damage. Um, Does, the fire doesn't matter. Yeah, it's still fire damage. Yeah. Unless it can set me on fire. And you ignite. <laughs> taking uh, damage at the start of your next turn. Do what? You are now on fire. Cause Am you are, I? You are a creature. You are now on fire. Yeah, you'll take fire damage at the start of your turn. Yep, Maverick, it's your turn. Who is you? Soul I can't, dude. Soul. I can't hear what you're saying. You're like Mick, Nerk, Nif, Nerk. Fuck. <laughs> Help! But I, I heard. All? Now I can hear. I mean, I can hear you now. It's just for for a minute there when you were explaining that, I completely didn't hear anything you said. You ignited on fire because you're a creature. Mm. On the start of your next turn, you t you will be taking damage. Okay. Uh, you are very stealthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think everyone lost you by now. Yeah, and he Actually, ain't even paying attention to you now, so it's me. Yeah. Wall is distracted as well, I'm going to try and stab him with advantage. Okay, that will hit. <laughs> well, <coughs> okay. That's my turn. All right. 
Crysera, you take five points of fire damage. Alrighty. You so may you stop. You, you may stop the fire use an action to douse the fire. So, but you'd be losing your action then. So I'd suggest you just keep going. Yeah, I'm. She's gonna get really pissed off and just swing at him and miss completely. And miss. You, you definitely <laughs> miss. And then, uh, bonus action, she's going to healing word on herself. All right. uh, why is that an attack roll? <laughs> she's she's a because buggy. Because ever since the ever since the glitched out patch that came through, you haven't got rid of the attack rolls on all your spells. Oh yeah. I said this to everyone a couple of weeks ago. I I, I know. I just I was only fixing the ones that. All of your spells that had attack rolls got rid of attack rolls, and all the spells that didn't have attack rolls got given attack rolls. Yep. Alright, so I am still on fire, but I'm not below half anymore. Yep. Alright, your turn? Uh, yeah, that was both actions. Or right. action and my bonus action, All right? Adriel. Okay. I'm Adriel's angry spells. because the thing was immune to it, was resistant to a slow. I'm gonna I'm gonna add flavor to this spell if that's all right, so. Go ahead. Okay. Um, she's going to focus, and the air around her chills, and suddenly clouds form in the sky, and it begins. Not quite rain, more like sleet, coming mm. down, like thin sleet, not 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 a sleet storm, but. Right. And then a bolt of lightning strikes this fire elemental. All right. Go ahead and roll the spell. Very nice. <laughs> Mm. That is a freaking nice roll. <laughs> I love call lightning. Yeah. Let's see. It makes a deck save. Four, dude. Fails. Taking 24 points of lightning damage. Awesome. And for flavor, it's now quite chilly as this storm is in. Because it's, it's an Adriel lightning storm and not a regular lightning storm. Okay. <laughs> 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 Whatever you say. And then she, um, Healing Word is a bonus action on you. On who? Me? Oh, uh, yeah. Aw, oh, you're so sweet. That's a shit ton of health, though. <laughs> Roll another 2D format, because you crit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gain 8 points of... Is that your turn? That is my turn. Alright, the Earth Elemental. Oh. Um, sorry, also, uh, Talia yips angrily at the fire elemental. Okay. Uh, so... He doesn't like, uh, he doesn't like fire either. As, as you call the, the lightning on the fire elemental, it's now the earth elemental's turn. I will roll a d6 to determine. One on Maverick, one on Bourbon. You're doing a double slam. Spirit Guardians isn't an attack roll, is it? It's a, um, it's a saving throw. Yeah, as I say, it's a save throw. Yeah. Fifteen versus versus Maverick. Miss. And a crit versus the Bourbon. Ow. <laughs> well, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. It's okay, I got you with the mad heals. You got one extra potion. Yeah, I do. He's, gonna, he's, he's just gonna tickle your pickle a little bit, don't worry about it. Oh god, don't say that. <laughs> that sounds so raunchy. It's supposed to be. You, you take 22 points of damage. The pickle will be in fact tickled. As oh the, the earth arm of the elemental slams into you, and you think you hear a bone crack. Oh. <laughs> Is that the blood rushing to my brain? Yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I think being productive, like, like, this doesn't happen often. So just, just like... <laughs> it is now Josh here's turn. Okay. Oh, shit. Shoot at the at the I don't know who should do that. Oh my god! 
Well, the the fire <laughs> elemental is almost dead, and the earth yeah. elemental takes a lot of it takes a lot of damage to hit him. And there's a lightning storm going. So we'll basically, what you would notice in this fight right now is Bourbon just got destroyed by the earth elemental, but this this like fire elemental over here is looking a bit wavy. Like it's like wavering in and out probably. So you'd notice okay. you'd probably notice that this one's looking weaker than the than this one here. I yep. go back up to Professor. The professor. Can I, can I actually like have him drink a potion that I have? If you if you you have to use your full action to give someone else a potion. Okay, I'll be giving him my last potion. Right. Bourbon. Bourbon, you get seven points of healing as you get a, a bottle of potion shoved into your face hole. This is what I'm saying. It's not one of those weird potions. Not this time. Run back. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe that's your turn. Bourbon, you just got a face full of potion. And a face full of fist. And a face full of fist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Well, I think. Ah, uh, shit. Hmm. I'm debating on just ending, trying to end the fire end so that we can skip his, you know what I mean? Uh, whoops, sorry. Yeah, I think I'll go over and just hit the fire elemental. Alright, you'd be taking an attack of opportunity. Pardon? You'd be taking an attack of opportunity from the earth elemental. I was about to say, if you don't use an action to disengage, then you take attack of opportunity. Oh, right. Okay. You're currently, so. you're currently in combat with the Earth Elemental. Yes. If you try to All right. Away, he's going to try okay. to slam you. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So be it. I'll hit him twice. All right. One will definitely hit. That's that's max damage, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yay. <laughs> well, max damage minus a crit. Yeah. God, I keep rolling yeah. two on this D20. This is a terrible dice. <laughs> <laughs> just, just remember, Lexi. Like these guys have no clue who you are. This oh, I, 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 I know. Yeah. This, this was like dialogue while all of that is happening. I'll be back here. All right, is that your turn, Bourbon? Um, I. No, I have to use second wind as an actual uh... bonus. That's a bonus. Oh, that's a bonus. Yes. I won't waste it just yet, then. You still have a bonus action that you can use. You, you've you only used your action, and you haven't yeah. even used... Uh, you've, you've only used an action, you still have a bonus action and a movement action. Okay. Uh, as a movement action, I'm going to move about right... Can I move up here? Like, move away. around here? You can. Like... Up here, and so that Maverick has a clear shot. Like, uh, yeah, that that would be twenty feet of movement because it's difficult to. Oh. Move. Okay, and how much movement do I have? Again? You should have twenty. Should have thir thirty. I have thirty. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Um. And as a bonus action, I guess I'll finish off that last potion that I have for that full health. You might as well use your second wind, dude. Save oh, I guess. Yeah, as they save All the right. potions. Fine, I'll use my second wind. There you go. There you go. There you go. That was a nice it. roll. <laughs> that was a nice roll. So you gain 12 points of healing. Yep. And <coughs> that would be your turn. That would be my turn. Asami will fire another shot at the, ele the earth elemental. Oh, God. Did you mean the fire elemental? <laughs> Yeah, the fire, which has no attack damage. No damage. Oh. You didn't put the damage in on your longbow. Yeah, I did. Or without a sharpshooter. 
there's no damage? <laughs> The the thing is, it it says the damage there, but it's not showing the damage. Maybe you changed something. Mm. I don't know because the last two shots you did were with sharpshooter, and they'll find. That was interesting. <laughs> you roll a seventeen to hit, but for what damage? <laughs> for x x amount of damage. One d eight plus five, I'm guessing. Well, let's see what I roll. Now I'm Six. confused. That's really confusing. <laughs> you called me. Oh, uh, that, that explains it. There we go. Fixed. Roll the damage. There we go. That will kill that misses, it. Uh, a 30 will miss. That will actually just plow right through it and kill it. the arrow goes out the other side and stabs into one of the rock faces. Then she aims a s her second shot after moving Hunter's Mark onto the Earth Elemental as a bonus action and shoots that one. Just remember, we're in the middle of combat. You probably wouldn't be talking that much. I I'm not trying to be a dick here. <laughs> you probably wouldn't be able to say that much in the middle of combat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, basically you get, like, you can say a sentence as an interaction during your turn. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think these were just, I thought these were out of character, like, us just talking. Well, my my first one, when I do it in the orange, that means it's in character. If I just type it, then it's not. Yeah, the thing is, like, we wouldn't be... Like, yeah, that was way, that was a the, little much. <laughs> this is the type of thing that we'll talk about after the fight. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Like, you'll probably explain yourself after the fight. Yeah, yeah. Asami, like, hey, blah, blah. Asami does some massive damage to the Earth Elemental, and it's now Maverick's turn. Well, seeing that Bourbon's there, I'm gonna spend like 20 of my movement to get to here. Alright, you now have advantage. I have a difficult terrain to get into an advantageous position, and then I'm gonna double stab, stab, stab. First one with sneak attack, and I'm rolling some average ass damage. <laughs> and then the second one with my offhand. God damn, your damage is shit. <laughs> oh, the God rolls. damn, it's actually pretty fine for a dagger. It's just that I'm just not rolling high on one. Yep, you you definitely stab into this earth elemental. Though it's still standing, it is wavering though. Uh, okay, I see what's going on. Okay, yeah. I was wrong. Sorry, my bad. Why do your daggers do 2d4 damage? Oh, that's a Because success. that's yeah. part of my class. Yeah, cool. class. That's cool. At level 3, I think it was, I got pretty much the only thing I got was up damage to my daggers. It's Thanks now Crysera's turn. Uh, what's the damage do I take because of the burning? 10. Ugh. Thank no. you for reminding me. Well, I, I saw the little flamey thing and I, I thought about it. Okay. Still use an action to douse yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to. I use my regular action to get rid of the flames, and then I use my free action to summon my spiritual weapon. Okay. You can go ahead. That it doesn't do it. Miss. It doesn't hit, though. <laughs> can still put it out there, though. There you go. Make sure you're removing spell slots. I am. Okay, good. And that would be your turn? Correct? Yes, that's it. Alright, Adriel. Adriel. Easy turn. He steps this way. And the storm is still going. And the lightning bolt comes down here, so it's a 5 foot radius center on that. Yep. The elemental. 
Click, click, kapow, bitch. I will roll its deck save. It failed. I'm yeah. surprised that's not like that. That's not like shatter. Hmm. Fails Where, and like, takes uh, that amount of damage. Security objects and like constructs have disadvantage. Interesting. Okay. okay. Yep. Is that it? Crack. As lightning comes down. Yep. And the weather is getting slightly colder again every time this goes. <laughs> Alright, so it's Earth Elemental's turn. I will now roll oh, another 1d6. Should you call it cold lightning, Matt? Hmm. <laughs> should, should call it dank lightning. One on, <laughs> one on Bourbon. And one on Chrysera. 420 lightning. So I, I take one damage? Oh, no, no. I'm oh, no. attacking once. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what I have. Okay. Uh, 27 on Bourbon. Oh my god. And an 18 on Chrysera. 18 Which damage works. or 18 to hit? To hit. Okay, you missed. The damage on Bourbon, though. <laughs> 12 damage. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm okay with that. Dank actions. Give you a big dank. Ah, jeez, you guys. Well, that's, the, right. that's the Earth Elemental's turn. Josh here. Ah, uh, yes, the so here. Well, shoot a crossbow at it. Alright, that will definitely hit. That's all he can do, so yeah, he's done. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Bourbon. Question. Is crossbow uh, yes, two hands or one? Um, which one? I, I uh, believe uh, it's the light crossbow. A, a light crossbow is two handed, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do my thing. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, that'll oh. do it. That'll do it. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna crit her. First of all, they both hit because he has advantage. Yeah, I'm gonna take the damage off first. Before you bother rolling a crit chart, just in case yep. he's dead. <laughs> okay, I, I still have to roll the crit chart. I, I I'd roll it anyway. Yeah. <sighs> there it is. And you want to roll me a one d one hundred? Sure. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you see a, a big chunk comes out of his uh, earthly form. Okay. As if you, if this was a humanoid creature, he would have been disemboweled. <laughs> no, interesting. Uh, um, ew. <laughs> so there's 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 a chunk that's missing from this Earth Elemental now. Off of him. Okay, is that like a maybe used as a weak spot or no? You don't know what's happening. Is that your turn? Any bonus actions? Uh, um, let me see what I can do. I was about to say, if you have a, you still have your bonus action. Yeah. Uh, let me check what I got. Then move. You could move behind it. Yeah. Like additional I'll... advantage. Right here. Uh, that'd be 5, 10, 20. You have to move one more step to the left. That's you your full movement. Yep. That yeah. would give Crossera advantage. There we go. Alright. And Maverick can move around and do it too. So. I won't get advantage anymore. No. 
So Asami will fire another two arrows. Hitting and hitting. Now she's like pulling a straight up neath over here, jeez. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself for making a smite reference. <laughs> I I know smite. It it looks really damaged and feels like it's just barely on standing. Well, it's got a chunk missing. <laughs> it's just that <laughs> old. Yeah. <laughs> All that's worth. <laughs> yeah. Maverick. Trying to get more freaking uh, better with his gun. He is going to try and shoot at point blank. That'll be disadvantage. Can you do that? And he's going to miss. That will miss. From point blank. <laughs> <laughs> Maverick the Stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm going to try and stab it with my offhand. That will oh, hit. Oh, well. <laughs> How would you like to do this? I uh, put a dagger, all, like, I, I, I drop a dagger on the ground, pull out my gun, shoot, miss it, and as I miss, I realize that I'm stupid and trying to shoot at point blank range, and I just stab it directly in, like, the chest. <laughs> like sort of like in the like I'm trying to do it like a kidney stab. Where the dis where you disembowelled. <laughs> as, as you Simple, stab it, he doesn't want to make it look flashy. He's in a pretty like un unstable position. So as you stab it, it just crumbles to the ground into rock and earth. Right, right, right. As he does that, he uh, reloads his gun, puts it in his holster, and then picks up his dagger off the ground, and then holsters his daggers. Oh crap. I'm gonna check to see if any body parts are broken from the slams. <laughs> um, Adriel focuses on the storm for a minute and just enjoys the cool of the, um, the freezing air, and then she lets it go. And you see as Asami goes over to the fire elemental, touches the fire, puts it in, uh, puts like a piece of its elemental form into a vial and closes it and puts it in her bag. How the hell does she do that? <laughs> she, she, she's special. <laughs> she, she also takes 10 damage because she's touching fire. There we go. Now I can understand it. <laughs> and then, uh, another question, just to be a dick, how does the fire stay in a glass vial? It's a, it's elemental. elemental. It's eternal fire. It's like magically staying, like. Yeah, okay, it's elemental fire. It doesn't doesn't require oxygen, for example, as fuel. It just keeps going. Okay. Cool. As they eventually oh, disappear. It's not as hot, but. Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh. Uh, get out. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, Adriel goes, to the, steps up near the fire elemental and starts just frostbiting like crazy. <laughs> it, it, it eventually just disappears. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. And she looks around to see if anyone's hit. Professor Bourbon could I, use a, a healing Sarah. word. <laughs> and I could use a healing word. <laughs> Well, you can heal your own self. Really good at healing. <laughs> you can yeah, heal your I own self. I can heal self. everyone. <laughs> uh, just should I? I'm just gonna use healing word then, my free ones instead of wasting. That's for him. Actually, just make that one for him. I'll take the ten. Because I only need ten. All right, Bervin gets fourteen points of healing and. Crysera gets 10. Yeah, I'm back up to full. I'm um, one away. It's fine. Oh, uh, also, is that chunk still on the ground? Is it I am out of free healing words until we rest. Is that chunk of Earth Elemental still on the ground? 
Yes, do you have anything to store Earth in? Uh, I'm not sure, but I was gonna... Is that she or can use it for ingredients or something like that? If, if you have, Magical. like, a pack of some sort, then you can. Uh, let me check. You should. Well, he's got a huge backpack on him. <laughs> uh, but I'll check my stuff. Are we taking a short rest? Oh, and I'm just seeing what that delete does. I was just about to say, um, does everyone want to take, like, a 15 minute rest? Uh, yeah, so sure. everyone can do some stuff. Yeah, sure. Like, uh, this, this is like more along the lines of if everyone, anyone wants to rest, anyone wants to check out the elementals. Yeah. Blah. I've got a, uh, backpack. Yeah. Also, this you, will give us time for it. Crossera to meet the two new members. You, you can yeah. add, uh, yeah. Earth Elemental Shard into your backpack. Yeah. In your inventory. As, uh, I will roll some hit dice. Just want um, hit dice also, for Sami. While while they're uh, doing that, Mav's gonna have a look around to see if there's any uh, T Rex tracks. <laughs> after the after the um, information we got from <coughs> Professor Bourbon, Bourbon when he was looking in the book, you notice some giant indents in the ground. <laughs> By the way, nice roll, and continue. <laughs> you you find some giant indents in the ground that you don't know what it's for. Because you've never seen a T-Rex before. There we go, that's what I wanted. I've uh, never seen a T-Rex before, but I'm trying to look for... Well, Professor Bourbon did say there's, it was a huge creature mm. to us. So, I guess I, I'll see these huge tracks and then I'll ask uh, Bourbon to come over and inspect them. Alright. Would I know their tracks almost, or what leg, uh, stuff like that? You, you you do know it's a huge creature. You weren't. Uh, you don't know about like what kind of tracks you were looking for. Okay. Well, I, know it's, I know it's a huge creature. Can we? Can I do an investigation yeah. to just Andrew, determine one, one. that like? You go. Um, while uh, while they're doing all this, Adriel's going to ritual cast Speak with Animals. Okay. <laughs> and then tell Snowflake to fly up very high to see if she can spot anything um, big around, like creatures. By the way, how do you guys do the RM chat? I don't know how. <laughs> type yeah. slash, slash EM space stuff. I do slash ME. Yeah, it's slash me. Uh, or EM. It's EM or ME. Like, it's, uh, For people who Either or. To. And to uh, privately talk to people, you go slash W and then write their name, write their in-game name. Yep. And um, I, can I do an investigation check to determine maybe, like, if they could possibly be it because it's a huge creature? Yes, like, and... Not to say, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is exactly the creature. It's like, this is probably it. Yeah. You, you may <laughs> make an investigation. Snowflake notices more indents on the ground. You don't know, Maverick. There's nothing nearby. Nothing nearby, but you do notice the big indents in the ground. Shaped uh, as you're a setting big out. foot. Oh. You're setting out. Hello. <laughs> also, uh, we, we're doing a short rest, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, so I get my holy healers back. Can I... Crosshair gets her holy healers, you get your action surge and second win back. Uh, can I, I do I a hit dice? Or no, I don't need to do a hit dice. But you don't need to do dice. I would suggest really there's know. probably not the time to do a hit no, dice when no, you no. only need one HP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I could I could heal that one HP from just medicine. Medicining. Crysera leans over to Adriel. So who are the new guys? Adriel says, they are members of the guild. We have to take them and basically... They're not members of the guild, the guild yet. Oh, they're, they're not members of like they sort of want to join the guild. So they're like us then. Pretty Gee, much. No, wait, we already joined. Yes. Yeah. Okay, they so are... they okay. were like you. Yes. They were like us. So we're just helping them with their mission then. Yeah. Yeah, helping in in induction, induction. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. Induction. Okay. That's the word. 
as a wood. That's fine. Yeah, so Snowflake notices the big giant footprints. Though That's a good cutout. Though cutouts uh, again. Oh motherfucker. You are uh, seriously having pro Fucking hell. So, Snowflake. Snowflake. Uh Snowflake notices that they're that it's at least another day away. Because you're like not close enough. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I, it'll never come back and say that to me, and I'll say to everyone after talking to my owl. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not within a day of here, so we should keep moving. Ooh. You didn't realize that, but so uh, now I know. <laughs> so, where exactly are we going? East, technically. Just the road here looks north. Or I was asking Adrian. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh yeah, Sol, did you hear us this year? Toward the Inti, I believe it's called. What was that? The Clem, Clem, the Clemity. You are like talking into mud like no but i cannot hear you at all hello there that's go. better i have to move the mic really close to my face <laughs> normally oh. i'd tell people not to do that but in this case please just do that <laughs> so <laughs> you're so that. lagging out uh so i think you might need to actually like maybe stop streaming never because you are or lagging log or something. never Never. Never. Oh, uh, what a uh, Zashir said that he wanted to you like use medicine and like their skills. Yeah. I mean, I could heal. I can also do some medicine check to heal someone for one hit point. I think. I think. I am a doctor. I, I, I would say out of character. You probably don't need it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, also, uh. Out of I put a band aid right on the cut. There you go. Out of character, we have, like, the biggest heal bot, like, right here. Yeah, I am uh, like... literally a walking fountain of youth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, lo I look at you. Yeah. It, You know what I meant. Now, yeah. what's the Dr. Alchemist for, then? Ugh. <sighs> You can make for, even better for alternative healing if our fountain of healing uh, decides to pass Be away. Be brave. Be brave. <laughs> <laughs> if or, I, if I pull a Tarya and decide to go and fight something that's way too big for me, <laughs> then yeah. you learn, you learn from the fox. Or yeah. if magic is negated, uh, you have actual fucking. Oh, oh yeah! If something silences me, then you are definitely going to be necessary. <laughs> Uh, also, the the thing is, is like, well, it's it's, it's not just you, you don't just have to heal. You can always sit back and use your crossbow and other weapons too. Oh, okay, guys, I was having a crossbow. Cross, like, if you if if Crossera doesn't think like out of character, if Crossera doesn't think that she needs to heal, she can go and start whacking things with her holy magic and her mace. I was gonna say that that cool badass mace I just got. <laughs> that I can't hit anything with. <laughs> I just saw the roll and I'm like, <laughs> holy crap. Where's your proficiency I was bonus? Of, I, was, I was XP. Oh crap, yes. proficiency bonus. Why is that not on there? That should be on there. That, that would probably you help. Have, you must have unclicked it or something probably. Proficiency, I'm proficient with it. Alright, let's, let's try this again. <laughs>